Gustave Le Bon on socialism. The working man no longer wishes to remain a working man or the peasant to continue a peasant. While the most humble members of the middle classes admit of no possible career for their sons except that of the state-paid functionaries, instead of preparing men for life, French schools solely prepare them to occupy public functions in which success can be attained without any necessity for self-direction or the exhibition of at least a glimmer of personal initiative. At the bottom of the social ladder, the system creates an army of proletarians discontented with their lot and always ready to revolt, while at the summit it brings into being a frivolous bourgeoisie, at once skeptical and credulous, having a superstitious confidence in the state, whom it regards as a sort of providence, but without forgetting to display towards it a ceaseless hostility, always laying at its own faults to the door of the government, and incapable of the least enterprise without the intervention of the authorities of the state. The state which manufactures by dent of textbooks all these persons possessing diplomas can only utilize a small number of them and is forced to leave the others without employment. It is obliged in consequence to resign itself to feeding the first mentioned and to having the others as its enemies. From the top to the bottom of the social pyramid, from the humblest clerk to the professor and the perfect, the immense mass of persons boasting diplomas besiege the professions, while a businessman has the greatest difficulty in finding an agent to represent him in the colonies. Thousands of candidates solicit the most modest office posts. There are 20,000 schoolmasters and mistresses without employment in the department of the scene alone. All of them persons who, disdaining in the fields or workshops, look at the state for their livelihood. The number of the chosen being restricted that the discontented is perforce immense. The latter are ready for any revolution, whoever be its chiefs, and whatever the goal they aim at, the acquisition of knowledge for which no use can be found is a sure method of driving a man to revolt. The conditions of success in life are the possession of judgment, experience, initiative, and character, qualities which are not bestowed by books or institutions. Just an excerpt of Gustave Le Bon. The reason why I'm presenting it is because to me, even though this book was written a while back, it's actually written in, originally published in 1895. Gustave Le Bon is actually talking about the problems of socialism and the psychology involved in that political system. And the reason why I'm presenting it is because to me, this is exactly what's happening now in our times. The younger generations are constantly protesting and protesting about any and everything while at the same time, most of them don't work, take care of themselves, show any initiative, creativity, or entrepreneurship, or even leadership. So that's why I'm presenting this. I think that when this generation does get to the point to where they actually can take the reins and the power in political offices, um, they're not going to know how to do it. They're not going to know what to do. They're not going to have the creativity, the ingenuity, the, let's say, personal power, and maybe even more than all that, the confidence and self-esteem to actually lead others because they're not able to really lead themselves.